Hello everyone and welcome to this new Minute Squash. Today we will see some tips to help you manage test steps in a classic test. So first we are in a test case workspace. We've selected a previously created classic test case and we are in the prerequisites and test steps section. We can see there are already five test steps in my test case. Each of them have actions and expected results that you can modify by clicking on it. By clicking the plus button on this test step, for instance, I can add a new test step, which will be directly added under the selected test step. Other actions you can do on each test step is to delete them, copy them, or paste them. To reorder one or several test steps, I recommend you to use the reduce display to have a better vision of your test steps. You can reduce test step by clicking the little arrow E, and if you want to reduce all of your test steps in one click, click the Collapse All button. Now you can select several consecutive test steps, for instance, by clicking the number of its position, Ctrl plus click to select some of them, and place your cursor on the two dotted lines, and drag and drop your test step wherever you want to change their position. In full view, by clicking the Expand All button, you can also move a test step one notch up or down using the arrow which appears when you hover a test steps. For instance, I change their position here. In the icon bar I show you before, you have also some actions that allow you to associate requirement by clicking here. The requirement library open and you can add a new requirement to your test step here. Other option you have in this section is to call a test case. I recommend you to watch the Minute Squash number 23, which will explain you everything on this feature. Then you can access the test step details also. In this page, you have the possibility to see the details of the requirements verified by this test case and modify the test step associated at the same time. As an extent, you also have the possibility to add another requirements verified by this test case by clicking here and have the possibility also to associate requirements, for instance, from another folder just like this. And when you come back to your test step, they are displayed just here. Last but not least, you also have the possibility to add an attachment. Clicking this section, a new window appears. But if you want to gain time, you are able to directly select it and add it by a drag and drop to your test step. As you can see there, if a test step contains custom fields, attachments or linked requirements, these items are displayed just under the action and expected results fields. That's it for this Minute Squash. I hope you enjoyed it and see you very soon for a new video.